Hey, what's up? My name is Ange. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, we are going to be going over all of the books that I read in the month of September. So this month, I actually read eight books and I was in the middle of two, which I technically could have finished probably in the month of September. However, I did not. So I will be reading those in obviously in the month of October and finishing those. That is Tangled Like Us by Kristen Baccarici, which is book number four in the Like Us series. And then The Assassin's Blade by Sarah J. Mass, which I am reading as book number four in the Throne of Glass series. I'm reading it the romantic way. However, I have all of the books here minus one because Cameron is borrowing it right now that I read in the month of September. So let's just Let's get into it. We'll start off with the very first book that I read this month, which was The Silent Patient by Alex... Last name that I can't pronounce and do not want to butcher because I don't want to be rude. This book is all about Alicia Berenson and her life and how perfect it seems until one night her husband comes home late from work and she shot her husband five times in the face and then never spoke another word. I don't know how to explain to you how incredible that this book is. I have heard so many things about this book for so, so, so long and for some reason, I just didn't read it. I have had it on my TBR. I've had it for a really long time. When did this edition came out in 2021? And I feel like I've had it since 2021. Just all the characters and the twists. Like, I remember texting Cameron and Jess, like, in our group chat that we have about how I just was not expecting that. Like, as I was reading, I was like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Like, here's this turn, here's this turn. Like, uh, how did I not see that coming? Like, the way that this author did that twist was so incredible. I thought that the characters were so intriguing. I thought that the ending was just like, what? Like, I need more. I need, but I am that type of person that needs an epilogue that's like, gives me the answer to every single question I had. Like, I wish that I can contact this author and be like, what actually happens at the end of this? Like, give me, like, for this book, give me like, a couple weeks after. Like, give, give me, give me the headlines. I'll say it like that. Give me the news story headlines. Give me give me a little bit of a look-see into the characters' minds just like right after. You know, you know. This book is incredible. If you have not read it, please go and read it. I didn't rate it on Goodreads, but I think that I would rate this one probably a five star. This one was amazing. It was a great start to the month. Great start. And I actually feel like I read it pretty quickly too. I think I literally read this in like three days. Why am I in August? I literally read this book in two days. It was incredible. Incredible, incredible. Mwah, amazing. Throw that one over here. Next, I read Rock, Paper, Scissors by Alice Feeney. This book follows Mr. and Mrs. Wright and every anniversary the couple exchanges traditional gifts and Adam's wife writes him a letter she never lets him read until now. So Adam Wright has face blindness. He cannot tell who like who you are just by looking at you. I don't know how it actually works. He can't even recognize his own wife and Amelia is sick of feeling unseen. So they win a weekend, get away to Scotland and they think that this is just what their marriage needs, whatever, let's go bond, let's just go be together and let's be romantic. Unfortunately, it does not go that way and they did not randomly win this trip. One of them is lying and someone doesn't want them to live happily ever after. It's 10 years of marriage, 10 years of secrets and an anniversary that they will never forget. This book for me was also a five star. I thought that this was just so good. And at first I was like, okay, like I don't care about these people. And then I think it was just about like here, like probably like halfway, right? Let's look at it here. Yeah, I think it was like about here and I was like connecting all the dots. And I was like, oh, well, this is weird here. Okay, but this is weird here. This is how this person knows this person. Like. Again, another one like that I can't really spoil for you, but if you know, you know, and how all of the characters are connected and who they truly are and things like that. I thought that this was incredible. It was amazing writing. I don't think I read anything else by Alice Feeney. Cut to me talking about another Alice Feeney book because I'm sure I have. But let's look. Uh, wait, no. Did she write the ad? Not the attic. This was my very first Alice Feeney book. It was amazing. I highly, highly, again, recommend if you haven't read this. But a lot of people have read this by now. I feel like this one also had come out a while ago. So if you haven't read it, I'd be surprised unless you're in the same boat as me. However, I highly, highly suggest it. Um... When did this come out? 2021. I thought it was amazing. I don't know, again, another one that I don't know how to explain to you that it was so good and you just didn't see it coming yet you did at the same time. And then once you actually figured it out, it was like, oh no, it's too late. And then the last like couple of chapters, I was like, oh, I gotta read it. I gotta read it. I gotta read it. I gotta know. I gotta know. 
amazing Mwah. chef's kiss the next book that i picked up was actually the novella to powerless which is powerful by lauren roberts this book follows adina when payton gets brought to the trials and then obviously spoiler 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 alert when adina ends up dying adina ends up meeting a boy named mac i think it's i don't know how to say his full name but he also had somebody in the trials that got taken from him and his whole thing was to go get her and save her and whatever was his cousin and adina was supposed to help him with that and then she got taken there and then they were still seeing each other there and blah blah blah, blah. and then um, to her ultimate death i feel like we are going to see him again eventually, maybe in Reckless, which I hope to get to very, very soon. I rated this one three stars. I feel like I can't really rate novellas completely. I was really happy to see Adina's story and I was happy to see like what she was doing, although I don't know if this is completely necessary. I just felt like I had to read it, so I did. Um, but I think that we're going to see Mac eventually. And I think three stars is pretty good. Like, it wasn't amazing out of this world. It wasn't bad. I probably shouldn't have even bothered to rate it because it's a novella. But I thought that there was enough that it was worth a rating. The next book that I read was actually our book club read for the month of September. Which was A Good Girl's Guide to Murder by Holly Jackson. Which is book number one. I think that there are three books and a like prequel novella kind of thing short story that book follows pip who is doing her senior project on the murder of andy bell who had been murdered by her boyfriend allegedly i think it was five years five years before she had been doing this project it happened in her town so she felt very close to it she knew the people involved she wanted to investigate this because she did not think that it was true she refused to believe that he would do such a thing so she wanted to prove him innocent and it is just the story of her researching this and talking to people and things like that if you are interested in all of our thoughts and feelings a book club read for that will come out sometime in the month of october whenever we get a chance to get together and record that it doesn't take me very long to edit and upload and everything like that so that would be out like literally it could be out the same day but i don't know when we haven't set a date on when we are going to be recording that however i have finished i don't know if jess and cameron have finished yet at this time but if you want to know my short version i gave it four stars i thought it was really really interesting i'm able to read those kinds of books very quickly i am really interested in research not researching like i'm really interested in like the crime and the kind of like investigating kind of thing i love like the natural series i would kind of maybe compare it to that a little bit i don't know if other people really are but just investigating like the murder i thought that the way the book was set up was really good and i would rate it four stars i highly recommend it i'm actually going to read book number two this month i put that one on my tbr i have all of the other books i'm going to read it and i am going to continue but i thought it was really interesting and it was young adult like it was good and I liked all the characters so I'm excited to read the next one. The next book that I read was Stolen Air by Sophie Lark. This is book number two in the Brutal Birthright series. This was a super quick read for me. I think I actually read it in one day, like one sitting. It's very, very small. I don't even know if it broke 300 pages. Yeah, it barely. It's 290. And also the artwork in this book, like, is that appropriate? Yeah. The artwork in this book, like, hold on. Are you kidding? Like, is that not so pretty? Amazing. I loved it. This book followed Nessa Griffin, and she is very lonely. She is the youngest in the Griffin family who are part of the Mafia. Obviously, if you do not know, this is a this is a Mafia romance series. I don't know how many books there are. Off the top of my head, I do not remember how many books there are. Should I pull up Goodreads? Let me pull up Goodreads and give you the information, the proper information. There are seven in here. Goes Brutal Prince, which I read a while ago. Stolen Air, Savage Lover, Bloody Heart. Broken Vow, Heavy Crown. Oh, there's six. I was right. Okay. Seven is the, the box set on Goodreads. That's how it pops up. So that's cool. So this book follows Nessa Griffin and also Mikolaj. So Nessa Griffin is uh, the youngest child in the Griffin family. They are the same family from the first book. Um, I forget his name. I don't remember his name, but it's the first family. Like the, we're, we're surrounding them. I'm pretty sure it follows those two families, the Griffins and the Gallows pretty sure the whole series follows them i could be wrong don't quote me on that then we also have mikolaj and he is the head of now another mafia family because the griffins or the gallows i can't remember which one i'm pretty sure that it was the gallows had killed the head of that family so now mikolaj is in charge and to basically get back at them for killing his adoptive father as he says because he was heir due to the fact that like he chose him and he kind of he saw him as a father he decides to 
basically steal Nessa and keep her hidden and kind of get money from them and whatever the heck and they end up falling in love so it is an enemies to lovers kind of gave me Beauty and the Beast retelling especially with like the library and things like that like if you if you read it you know I rated this book four stars it's not if you're looking for like a light mafia romance I guess they could kind of say like it definitely wasn't like super long they're quick they're they're st they're great don't get me wrong I guess I would call it like a light mafia romance like it definitely wasn't like super in-depth like when I'm thinking like in-depth I'm thinking like watching the Sopranos now this is very light if that makes any sense whatsoever it makes sense inside of my head but if it doesn't make sense I apologize um but I would consider this a light mafia romance there's definitely like a lot going on but it's not super deep and in depth i'll say that i'm gonna leave it at that i'm gonna stop with the word vomit and i'm just gonna continue on with my review i ate this one up and i didn't think that i was gonna like the trope of like i stole you and locked you in a tower basically however i thought that it was really good and how she ended up feeling about him and everything like that like just the feelings and i really liked nessa and honestly i loved mikolaj if that's how you say his name i really loved him i loved all of the characters it was good to finish out the month i read three books of the like us series so that included damage like us lovers like us and alphas like us all by krista and becca ritchie this is the next series from the addicted Callaway sister series these are their kids so i read the first three i am reading tangled like us right now which is book number four like i mentioned earlier on in this video um I did read them. I read Stolen Air in between Damage and Lovers Like Us. Sorry if you've been looking down, I'm reading my phone. However, I just thought it was easier just to kind of tell you in this order. The first one, it's the whole series is celebrities and bodyguards and their bodyguards. I don't believe, I think one of them is like a bodyguard and somebody else that's not one of the celebrities, but it still follows them, like the family and all. So, book one two and three follow maximoff hale which is lo and lily's first son and then it also with pharaoh keen who is his bodyguard this book it follows when he like first gets assigned to his detail and when they first start getting together and then it is kind of just one continuous timeline not to say that there's not like a plot like because there's always something going on there's always a point to everything but it kind of is i believe i called it like a character study a really long time ago kind of how magnolia parks universe is where it's just a continuous timeline where you're just kind of you're following their lives book number one i rated three stars and then book two and three i rated four stars and the reason for that is that it was really weird for me to be in this world again but not with like the og like core six and that's why i put off reading them for so long however i ended up really loving them as i got to um lovers and alphas like us damage like us just didn't hit that mark for me i thought it was good like i love kristen becca richie's writing however i just didn't love the characters yet i now am honestly like attached but they're not five star reads for me but they are very good i don't think that anything will ever feel the same as the addicted callaway sister series did for me i am absolutely in love with those characters i thought that it was amazing i honestly might go back and reread because perfect amazing beautiful um but i did think that it was really interesting and it's cool to see all of their kids there's just so many characters that being like jumping right into this world like that i felt like i was like oh, oh my god no because you know when they're all born like the very ends of addicted Callaway sister series so to see them i think maximoff is 22 in this first book um it just kind of was like oh my god out of nowhere and what gave me what made me give this one a three star instead of a four star like the other two was that i felt like we just jumped into their kind of feelings towards each other i felt like there was no build up even though they do give us a background eventually like with the flashbacks i just felt like it was like all of a sudden it was like zero to 100 and max moff was like in love i don't know that's me i just felt like i didn't get the background so the lead up kind of thing but all around like they're amazing i love them the characters are beautiful i love all the characters i'm deeply 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 attached to all of them i am really excited to be reading jane's book right now which is rose and connor's daughter i first daughter am a rose and connor fan until the very end i love them um so being able to read them is really cool but the three books on max moth and pharaoh are awesome and i don't think we're done yet i believe there's i believe there's four I think there's four and jane has two i think there's like 13 in the series like 
I could be wrong on how many books there are one in the series but two how many each of them get but so far I did just finish these three so yeah all around I thought that it was a really good reading month I think that I had a lot of really highly rated books I got a lot off of my physical TBR which is awesome that was a goal that I'm having this year I am not allowing myself to buy any more books unless it's like for a video or something like that or on Kindle Unlimited however I am not allowing myself to add anything to this TBR card I keep looking over here at it and for some reason it just seems like it keeps growing even though I am trying so hard not to but a lot of these a lot of these books are planned for videos, so keep an eye out soon. Um, but yeah, all around, I think that we had a really great reading month. I read one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight books this month, which is more than I have been reading. I think I've been averaging like five, six, or whatever. Something like along there so yeah if i hadn't had such a busy weekend i definitely would have been able to read the assassin's blade and tangled like us however we got we got carried away so i couldn't but that's for october that brings this video to an end thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it and i'll see you all next time bye